What's up guys, Jim here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to replace your clocks or your speedometer in your 2018 onwards Ford Fiesta. Let's get started. Just bear in mind before we start you will need to take a note of the mileage as the clocks will need programming back in after replacement. These are the clocks we'll be fitting. These are brand spanking new out of the box straight from Ford. They will have zero miles on the clock and like I said before they will need reprogramming back into the car after. Before we can pull the clocks out we'll need to remove all the trim around the clocks and the vents and to give ourselves a little bit of extra room we're going to adjust the steering wheel as far down and out as possible. On the top of the steering wheel just below the clocks there's this plastic trim here with a bit of fabric on it if we just pull it up and move it out of the way that's the first bit of trim removed it gives us access to the bolts below the clocks and the bottom part of the trim using a plastic trim tool we're going to loosen off the trim around the vents and the top of the clocks remember to use a plastic one as metal or a screwdriver will damage the material it's very soft uh, once you've dislodged the vent you can pull along the top and then we'll just stop here for a second because we need to remove the radio display screen to remove the screen we need to come behind the screen here you'll see a little piece of trim you get your plastic trim tool in there and flick out this flap and then underneath you'll find three eight millimeter screws which need to be removed Once the bolts have removed, if you just grab the screen and give it a wiggle and a pull, it should come out. And then there's two plugs. One is the power and the other is the aerial. You need to unplug those and that's it. The screen comes straight off. Now the screen's out. Before we pull this part out, which we'll just be pulling it out like before, there's a surround around the outside of the clocks which we need to remove to simply pulls out just pull that out and put that to one side then we can loosen off the part where the display was sat just make sure the vents on the other side is loose but before it will pull out we will need to remove the bottom two clocks bolts which are two t20s as that holds in the trim also there are also two T20 Torx screws on the top holding the clocks in, however they're not touching the trim now so you can either undo them now or undo them after you've pulled the trim out, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now we've removed the screws for the clocks, we can finally pull the trim completely off. It'll come off with the air vents attached. We can put that to one side. And now we just need to pull the clocks out. They will be quite a tight fit. So you may need to give them a good tug and a wiggle for them to actually come out. And before you yank it all the way out there is a plug on the back of it which we will need to disconnect
Okay, now we've got the old clocks out, it's just a case of grabbing the new clocks and refitting them in the reverse order. Remember that they will need reprogramming, so you will need a computer with the proper software to be able to do that. This is the new clocks fitted, as you can see it says zero miles, this is before programming. If you had to switch the ignition on, I think you'd get away with it. As you can see here, it comes up with all manner of uh, warning messages and error messages, uh, but they will disappear once it has been reprogrammed. Well that's it for today's video guys, if you enjoyed it or it helped please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, peace.